Dear friends, this is Prithviraj from Bangalore connecting with you once again through this short message on hypocrisy. Have you ever exaggerated your good deeds to others? Do you feel irritated when others receive praise? Do you turn your interactions and conversations in a direction that is more likely to bring you praise? Is gaining popularity and name your main motive to serve God and others? Do you feel bad when people do not appreciate your service? Answering yes to the above questions would mean the influence of hypocrisy in your life. This message would throw some light on this subject hypocrisy. Hypocrisy is the pretension to qualities which one does not have. Hypocrisy is the contradiction between thoughts and words. Keeping something in mind saying and acting something else. It's a difference between life inside home and life outside home. In Matthew 23rd chapter, we are told that hypocrites act desiring public applause. They give undue importance to the external things than to the internal life. They act as though they are nice to others, but in their hearts, they set traps for them. By pretending to be what they are not, hypocrites imprison themselves. They lie. They practice deception. In fact, they bear false witness against themselves. They are afraid to step out and show their true selves. Jesus did not say, Woe unto you adulterers, woe unto you thieves, or woe unto you murderers. But he repeatedly pronounced, Woe unto you hypocrites. Friends, hypocrisy is such a grave sin. Hypocrisy is a form of false religion when people draw near to God with their lips, but their hearts are far from him. Earlier, we understand our hypocrisy, and sooner we repent, better will be our Christian life. Keeping closer relationship with God, practicing secret spirituality, being open with others, and keeping good part of our walk in low visibility would help to keep hypocrisy under control in our daily life. Thank you for listening to this message. God bless you.